स्तुहं भवद्भि लोकमंगलम जत्पिता कृष्ण शं कृष्ण जीनात्मा सुप्रसिद्ध लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर काइंडली कमिंग हियर टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मोमेंट so i am reciting one of two verses from shrimad bhagavatam <coughs> first and second chapter wherein a uh, shuddha goshani describes to the great sages assembled in naimisharana in respect of the importance of krishna consciousness naimisharana perhaps you have heard the name at present there is a railway station near between hardoi and lucknow in uttar pradesh the station is called nimsha and still the naimisharan atmosphere is maintained there it is a very nice sacred place if you go there you will feel immediately krishna consciousness so in that meeting the great sages and saintly person assembled there inquired from sutta goshami that after the departure of lord krishna wherein the principles of religion are kept oh. <coughs> krishna appeared for reestablishing the religious principle dharma sanasthapana thai when krishna or any incarnation of the lord descends there are two kinds of mission uh, one mission is paritranaya sadhana the sadhu or the devotees they are very much anxious to meet god krishna so he fulfills the desires of the sadhu and by the way he also विनाशाय तो दुष्कृता दुष्कृता मीन्स सीम फोर इन पास टू किल दैट सो कृष्णा हैज गॉट टू बिजनेस वन टू गिव प्रोटेक्शन टू द डिवोट इज एंड द अदर इज टू किल द डिमांड जस्ट लाइक कृष्णा अभ्यास as kesavadhita narahari rupa nishinga de so <coughs> in narahari nishinga de the one side he was blessing pullar mara the devotee and the other side he was killing his eighth his father kirna pushi he had seen the picture so uh krishna when he has got the fighting spirit because krishna is the source of everything janmadasya jata here in this world also we find two things uh friendship and hostility just like modern political atmosphere sometimes there is conference of friendship and sometimes there is fight with a uh, lethal weapons so this duality is visible within this material world and in the spiritual world there is no duality there is absolute Peace. Ah, so when he wants to fight, 
he comes here because here there are many demons. So he is fighting spirit is satisfied. Otherwise, uh, for killing the demons, Krishna does not require to descend. There are many agents of Krishna. For example, this city, Visakhapatnam, on the seashore, if Krishna desires, this whole city can be killed in a second simply by overflooding the sea or by a storm. She has got many agents. Parasya Shakti Vividai Vasuyate are the material agent, Durga Devi. She can all do all these things. So Krishna does not require to descend for killing the demon. But when he feeds, just like a rich man sometimes feels to uh, contest with some wrestler, that does not mean he requires it. Uh, that is the Krishna spirit. Uh, he is all blissful. So when Krishna comes, descends, there are many demands. He especially comes for the devotee. But when he fights with the demand, that is also his favor. Because anyone killed by Krishna, he immediately attains liberation. Therefore Krishna is absolute. Either he fights or blesses, the result is the same. <clears throat> so this inquiry was made by the great sages in the Misharana. The after departure of Krishna, wherein the principles of religions are kept. <clears throat> so the answer was given by Sutta Goswami. He said in the very beginning, Munaya sadhu prishtu aham. Your question is very auspicious. Munaya sadhu prishtu aham bhavadhi loka mangalam. Uh, this question is very auspicious to the human society. Why? Jatkrita Krishna Sankrishna. Because you have inquired about Krishna. So, somewhere or other, if you talk of Krishna, then it is Lokamangalam. Those who are talking about Krishna and those who are hearing about Krishna, both of them are benefited. It doesn't matter whether he understands or not. If he simply, they can stop. <coughs> These children are creating disturbance. Hey, am I? Anybody? Uh, so the purpose is that this Krishna consciousness movement is hearing and chanting about Krishna. The shortcut is to chant the Hare Krishna mantra. So anyone who chants this Hare Krishna and anyone who hears Hare Krishna, both of them are benefited. Uh, there is another verse in this chapter. Sinnatam uh, sakatha krishna punna savana kītana. Sinnatam sakatha krishna punna savana kītana. Riddanta savadrāni vidhunati svi satāṁ. Our heart is uh, filled up with dirty things. The dirty things is misunderstanding. The first misunderstanding is accepting, identifying oneself with this body. 
I am this boss. I am American. I am Indian. I am Hindu. I am Muslim. I am Christian. I am this, I am that. This identification is one of the greatest misunderstanding. And when Krishna began his teaching in the Bhagavad Gita, he for because Arjuna accepted him as a spiritual master. In the beginning he was talking like friends. But when the questions were not solved, Arjuna accepted Krishna as a spiritual master. Shishasriham. Sadi Maam Prabhannam. At that time, when Krishna was accepted by Arjuna as his spiritual master, he first of all chastised him. He said, Asachan Anushochasam Pradhyavadam Sabhat. Because Krishna, Arjuna was talking as a family man. So therefore, he first of all testifies him that he was talking from a low-grade platform, but you are talking just like learned man. You are not learned. Gatāsum avatāsum stranānu sūchanti pandita. You are not talking like a learned man. That means Krishna indirectly said that you are a fool. You do not know what is your identification. Then he explained that dehi nasmin jatha dehi soumāra jūpanam jara tatha dehāntaram prāti dhīras sattva namuhiyat. The soul is eternal and the body is temporary. It is changing every minute, just like Ah, from our mother's womb, our first birth takes place between the father and mother. Two secretions, emulsified, forms into a, a pea-like body, a small pea-like body. First night, the soul takes shelter within that body, and the mother supplies the energy and it develops. From that pea it becomes a small body, then a small body becomes uh, greater and greater, and when it is fit for developing or increasing in this uh, material atmosphere, mother delivers the child and again it becomes de- developing. The developing means changing the body. Child's body, every one of us had a body like a child, baby, but that body is now missing. We have got a different body. Young man has got a different body, old man has got a different body. So this is a fact that the soul is there but body is changing. Therefore, the natural conclusion should be that when we leave this body, I take another body. There is no difficulty to understand this reasonable proposition of Bhagavad Gita. Dehi nasmin jatha dehi koumanam jyavanam jara tatha dehantaram prapti as dehantaram from childhood to boyhood, boyhood to youthhood, the dehantaram, another body. Similarly, uh, old man, uh, when the body is not very old, it cannot be used anymore, or the supply ingredients is almost finished, then this body we give up, we accept another body. Now this body we are changing from 
multi forms of body. Jaladana Valakhani, Savara Lakhavinsati, Krimaya Rudra Sankhata. In this way, 8,400,000 species of body were changing. And this human form is the greatest benediction for the soul to understand Krishna. And Krishna says, if in this body we try to understand Krishna, janma karma me dibbam, jo janati tattva. If we simply try to understand Krishna, how Krishna comes, uh, what is his business? Paritrāna sādhunā vināsāya ca duskitā dharma samasthāpanā thāya. What kind of religious principles he re-establishes? Uh, Sammamāmi juge juge. So these things are explained very nicely in the Bhagavad-gītā. Uh, everyone in India knows Bhagavad-gītā. Uh, and not only in India, throughout the whole world, Bhagavad Gita is very well known and widely read book of knowledge. I have traveled all over the world. In every country there are different language translations of Bhagavad Gita. Even in Japanese country there is Bhagavad Gita. In the Muslim country, there is Bhagavad Gita. So, Bhagavad Gita is the universal book of knowledge. And our Krishna consciousness movement is based on this Bhagavad Gita. We have not manufactured anything. The same thing, which is very, very old. At least from historical point of view, it is five thousand years old. But from scriptural point of view, it is more than forty millions of years old. So our Krishna consciousness movement is based on this Bhagavad Gita because it is full of uh, Krishna Sang Prasna. Uh, here Sutta Goswami says, Jatkrita Krishna Sang Prasna. Loka Mangala. The uh, question raised by you, Bhavad B, by you. Loka Mangala. The Bhagavad Gita should be read very widely and should be understood very widely. That is the only source of auspicity for the human society. But don't misrepresent it. It has become a fashion now to misrepresent. Uh, comment on Bhagavad Gita according to one's whims. That is very dangerous. Uh, that is very dangerous. Bhagavad Gita should be read, should be understood as prescribed in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says in the fourth chapter, evam parampara prapam imam rajar vidu. The Bhagavad Gita could be understood by the line of disciplic succession of authorized acharyas. Fortunately, in your South India, all the great acharyas appear. Sankaracharya, Ramanuja Acharya, Madhya Acharya, Vishnu Shami, all of them. So you are very fortunate. And the acharya commentary is also there. Ramanuja commentary is there. Madhacharya commentary is there. Uh, so you take advantage and read them very nicely. Uh, that is our request, Krishna consciousness. 
and try to understand Krishna. If you simply understand Krishna, then the result will be Janma Karma Medibam Jo Janati Tattva. In truth, in fact, which you can do only if you follow the acharya, not the rascals. Don't follow any rascal. You follow the acharya. You get the benefits of Krishna consciousness. That is our request. Tatta dehaṁ punar janmanaiti. Then your human form of life will be blessed. You will get success in obtaining this human form of life. Not only that, you are all mothers present here. Teach your children from the very beginning, as it is recommended by Prahlad Maharaj. Pumaro Acharit Prāgva Dharmāna Bhāgavatāni. Durlavaṁ Mānusaṁ Janma. Tadapi Adhurvaṁ Arthadaṁ. Prahlad Maharaj says the children should be taught about a religious principle, especially Bhagavad Dharma. What is Dharma and Bhagavad Dharma? Bhagavad Dharma means the Dharma of the soul, and ordinary Dharma means Dharma of this body. Generally, we understand the Varnasam Dharma, Chatur Varnang Maya system. Gunagarma Vibhag. The Brahmins, the Chatriyas, the Vaishyas, and the Sudras, Brahmachari, Grihastha, Banaprastha, and Sanya. So actually, this is our Vedic principle is Varnasam Dharma. So this Varnasam Dharma is in relationship with this body. But we are not this body. Dehantaram prakti, you are changing our body. So sometimes we may become a sudra, sometimes we may become brahmi. That is change. But when you come to the platform of the soul, nahannate hannamane sarire, that dharma, when you begin, the dharma of the soul, that is called Bhagavad dharma. Because when one is uh, in the platform, in the platform of understanding soul, that is called Brahmagyan, Atmagyan. So when one comes to the platform of Brahma understanding, that is called Brahma Bhuta. The Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. When you come to that platform, <coughs> understanding of the soul, then you become joyful, free from material anxiety. Just like you are on a ship and it is in danger on the ocean, tottering. At any moment it can drown, but somewhere or other if you come to the land, then you feel Safety. Now I am safe. Uh, similarly, this bodily consciousness, I am Indian, I am American, I am Hindu, I am Muslim, I am this and that, that is just on the tottering seat. But if you come immediately on the spiritual platform, then uh, prasannātmā, now I am safe. Brahma-bhūta prasannātmā. Na sochati, na kāṅkati. To Brahma realize so. He has no more any hankering, nor any lamentation. So long we are in the bodily platform, we are hankering and lamenting. We are hankering for things which we do not possess, and we lament for things we do lose. There are two business, to gain some material profit or lose it. 
This is body reflect. But when you come to the spiritual platform, there is no more question of loss and profit. Uh, equilibrium. So Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasotati Nakankati Sama Sarvesu Bhutesu. Because he has no more lang- hankering and lamenting, there is no more enemy. Uh, because if there is enemy, then there is lamenting. But if there is no enemy, then sama sarvesu bhūtesu. Mal bhakti lavade param. That is the beginning of transcendental activities, bhakti. So our Krishna consciousness movement is directly giving this bhakti platform uh, by the mercy of Krishna in the form of Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is distributing Krishna immediately because in this age people are so fallen. Manda samanda matayo manda bhagya upadrata. Alpayayu. They are living for a short time. And manda, uh, manda means very slow or inferior quality of human being. Uh, not superior. Inferior quality means in this age there is practically no bravery. All sudras. Actually, it is so, because people in this age, if he gets one nice service, master, he is satisfied. One wife, one service, then his life is. In this age, if one can maintain his wife and few children, Ah, he is very expert. He is to be considered dhatya, very expert. He doesn't want to make any sacrifice. Simply if he is somehow or other able to maintain a wife, that is, that has also become impossible. Uh, the social system is coming to such degraded position. In Europe and America I have seen very few men are family men, you see, because it is botherish. They think it is botherish, or it is very heavy task. Actually in that country it is very heavy task by so many laws and so many conventions. So they avoid marriage. So therefore in the symptoms of collegial it has been stated, dakham kutumma bharanam. Kutumma means family. If one can maintain his family, he is to be considered as very successful. Uh, now he hasn't got to make uh, dukha jagga or naramet jagga or asamet jagga. No. That he has not means. This is the position. Mandas mandamata. And if anyone wants to accept something for spiritual, that is Suvanda Mata, something bogus. He will accept something bogus which has no spiritual, I will say, reference. He will accept. And this, I have got this layer. Manda, Suvanda Mata, Manda Bhagya. Because they are all unfortunate. And Upadrita. And always disturbed and anxious by so many external affairs. Therefore, in this age, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given us very shortcut method, not manufactured by him. No saintly acharya will manufacture his way. He must refer to the Vedic literature. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu picked up the Vedic instruction. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kevalam, Kalo Nasiva, 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 Gatiranatha, from Brihad Naradiya Pura. 
in the Simad Bhagavatam also it is said, Kalo dosa nidhi rajan asti jiko mahanudra kitanadeva krishnasa mukta sanga parangoje. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu picks up these uh, Vedic instructions and introduced it to the world 500 years ago. And he predicted that uh, this mission should be spread all over the world. Uh, and especially the uh, task was entrusted with Indians. He said specifically that Bharat Pumite Manusha Janma Hila Ja Janma Shatha Kori Paro Paro Bhoka. Those who have taken birth as human beings in India, they should take this task of distributing Krishna consciousness all over the world for doing well to others. So I request that uh, we have met a background only for spreading Krishna consciousness and this movement has a great demand all over the world. They are confused with this materialistic way of life. They are not satisfied. Many thousands and thousands of young men, they are confused. They do not know what to do, but they do not like to live like their fathers or grandfathers. So this is an opportunity for spreading this uh, mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna consciousness, and Krishna amongst the scholars, amongst the religionists, amongst the philosophers, even amongst people in general. This Krishna book, Bhagavad Gita, is very well known. So take this opportunity, both ladies and gentlemen in India, and present Krishna consciousness without any adulteration. Don't do this misservice. You are adding something raskalam in Bhagavad Gita. In Bhagavad Gita it is simply mentioned and it is described that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. Matta paratara nanya kinchi dharanya there is no greater authority than Krishna. Aham sarvasya prabhava matta sarvam pravartyate. Iti matya bhajante man buddha bhava samanita. These things are there. So my request is that your South Indian people are very intelligent there and you are benedicted by the blessings of all acharyas. My sincere request is that you take up this movement seriously and spread all over the world. Join with us. Thank you very much.